Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to extend the trial version of your Sony Vegas Movie Studio. So if many of you have seen uh, the prices of the Movie Studio version 11, the prices have been dropping uh, sharply in the past few months. I suspect that a new version is coming out, maybe version 12, maybe a 64-bit, I don't know. Just a, it's a, that's just a suspicion. So what I've been doing is I've been holding off my purchase on the version 12. And in the meantime, I'm just using Sony's trial version. So on, to get the trial version, you can just go to the sonycreativesoftware.com slash movie studio PE and Platinum Edition. Here, they, there's a number of editions. There's the um, Platinum Suite, there's the Vegas Pro, but the trial version is only for the Platinum Edition, which is good enough for home use. And you can just go to here where it says download free trial click on that then choose the the uh, the build that, rely, that re applies to you so once you download it you'll see that's about 320 megs so now let me show you what happens if I run my current installed application so now it says your Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum trial has expired uh, I think the trial period was only for 30 days I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure but it's roughly about 30 days and they ask you to purchase it. Well, I don't want to purchase it right now because I feel that a new version is coming out. So I'm going to just going to un uninstall this version, this trial version, and reinstall it just so I can try try it out again for another 30 days. To uninstall it, just go to your computer's control panels, and there's a uh, programs and features, and just scroll down to where you see the. Uh, let me see where it says Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum. So I'm going to uninstall this here. You want to sure you want to uninstall? Yes, I am. The Vegas Movie Studio has now been uninstalled, but it was not going to install completely. There's still traces of it left inside my Windows registry, and that's why I cannot just go ahead and run this trial version install right now. I'll need to first go to the registry editor and delete those Sony entries. To access it, click on the start button, click on run, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit. And it's always good practice that before you make any changes here, uh, go to file, export, and just save the, uh, the backup of this registry somewhere where you can always access. Uh, just keep in mind, it's not a small file. It, it could be anywhere it's up to like 400 megs or 500 megs. Next, I'm going to navigate to the entries that I'll need to delete. So first one is I'm going to go to HQ Local Machine, Software, and scroll downward to where you see the WoW 6432 node. So here, since I'm on a 64-bit machine, that's why I have this entry here. And now I'm just going to head to the Sony. Should be here, Sony Creative Software. Just right click on this and delete. Yes. Okay. And then there's one more entry I need, I need to do as well. Under the H key current user, same thing, expand this tree, expand software, navigate down to the let's see Sony. Sony Creative Software. Right click on this delete. Say yes. Now that's been deleted as well. And besides those two folders that I just deleted, there is actually a couple of other folders just not named Sony and um, you need to search for it. So head back to the top of the tree, go to edit, find, and just type in the word Vegas. And let it do its search. So over here is, see, is the registration of Sony Vegas. I'm just going to right click on this and delete. Vegas slideshow. So what else is Vegas? I'm just, I'm just going to delete all the, essentially all the Sony entries. And to move on to find again, it'll be find next. So just F3. Now that I've combed through my registry and deleted all the Sony Vegas entries, 
I'm going to restart the computer before I start the installation process. After I have rebooted my computer, I head back into the, the registry and just, just to double check that I have removed all the Sony entries or most of the Sony entries. I'm just going to go to edit, find, type in Vegas, find next and there should be very few entries in here left. Uh, one of the things that you will want to keep is the system restore point. This just acts more as a, of a description. That system restore point is, belongs to Windows, not Sony, so you, you can just leave that one alone. Since it's taking a long time to search, that is a good sign. It took less time to remove the entries than I expected. It didn't take actually five minutes. It took probably like only two. So this one, I'm not really sure what it is. But since it's part of the uh, Windows uh, image file execution, I'm just going to leave this one alone. So I'm going to go find next. And here's the system restore point I was referring to earlier. I'm going to leave that one alone. Find next. It should probably bring up a DLL. The one left earlier, last time before the reboot. And here it is. So I'm going to leave this one alone too. Find next. I'm not sure what this Vega 60K is. Okay, so now it's finished searching through, searching through the registry and couldn't find anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and install the trial software again. I'm not going to actually record a whole install because you, if you're watching this, you most likely did install once, and it's very straightforward. So I'm just going to skip through this part. Okay, now my install has been successful. I'm just going to hit finish. So now I'm going to go run the Sony Vegas software. It's ready in my hot list. So I'm just going to click on Sony Vegas. It says I need to register. See, this reg registration of the Sony Vegas Platinum requires elevated privileges, yada yada. Okay, let's hit next. And this is the part that I'm after. So since I don't have a serial number, I'm just, just going to say run the trial version of the Sony Vegas Studio HD Platinum 11 dot edition. And when I do this, and next, I just need to register this product again, and uh, I'll be able to use it as if I've never installed on, on this machine before. So let me just fill this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished registering my product. Hit OK. And now I'm logged back in. Load, load, load. Let's see if this works. And it does. Well, there you have it. This is my little tutorial on how to extend the trial edition of your uh, Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum Edition. Well, thanks for watching. Please rate this video, subscribe, and if you have any questions, well, feel free to post it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.